Hey guys, YouTube Warrior 100 here, here to finish up the Elm Street Friday 13th reviews with probably the moment, the one that everybody has probably been waiting for. The main attraction of this whole thing, the one that I was wanting to review this month. Here's my review of Freddy vs. Jason. Alright, so this movie, um,. I do think it is kind of enjoyable, but I can see why people really wouldn't like this movie, especially the Freddy fans. Considering how like unfair this movie really is to Freddy, because of like the the director of this movie was clearly he biased towards Jason, and he was a Jason fan, so yeah, I guess he just purposely was trying to make Jason look superior to Freddy in this movie, because yeah. As you know, well, I did make a video about this, about, like, all the deaths in this movie back, like, not this past summer, but last summer, yeah, but, yeah, I, I decided to remove that video, yeah. yeah. I said, like, Jason kills, like, 20 people in this movie, and Freddy just kills one person in this entire movie. Yeah, so, mm hmm yeah, so, yeah, this movie, it is unfair to Freddy. Eddie, so yeah, I can see why the Freddy fans, fans really wouldn't be a fan of this movie. Yeah, and yeah, I think maybe even there might be some Jason fans that may not even like this movie very much. I tr yeah, so yeah, I can see why people really would not like this movie, but I do think it is kind of enjoyable. It's not like the best Elm Street or Friday 13th movie by any means, yeah, well, yeah, I still think it is kind of enjoyable, I give this movie about, hmm, two and a half stars out of four, okay, so, yeah, let me just get right into this review, alright, so, the movie starts with kind of like just Freddy telling his story of how he became, in who, the killer that he is, and how he became, like, the, what he is now, the, how he is just the immortal, whole undead guy, yeah, just the monster he is, let's just say monster, yeah, it showed, like, him killing a little girl, girl, as he's human, yeah, and yeah, he's just, like, narrating, well, how his life was, how he was called the Springwood Slasher, and yeah. It then showed all the parents burning his house, house and burning him alive. Yeah, and then Freddy said that after they killed him, he became something much worse, what nightmares were really made of, and then it was showing, like, clips of all, of, like, some of the murders that he made in the previous movies, like Philip's death in the third movie, and, and Tina's death, and yeah, what he was going like him possessing Jesse's body in the second movie and killing Jennifer in the third movie, yeah. Yeah, just everything you know what he did when he became the monster. And yeah, he said Yeah, and he said that he was being forgotten and he was bringing someone else back to uh, to make them remember, and uh, yeah, that was obviously Jason. Yeah. Yeah, and then, yeah, it showed a girl jumping into a lake, the lake swimming. Yeah, and then she eventually just got out, and then, yeah, she saw that she was being chased by Jason. She tried to run away from him. And then, yeah, she ended up, like, backing into a tree, and then, yeah, she just, like, walked around it. And then, yeah, she then turned to see J Jason behind her, and Jason killed her by just piercing her, piercing her right through a tree, he, with his machete, yeah. And then Jason heard his mother talking to him, saying that he needs to go to Elm Street, and the teens have been real bad there, and whatever, and then it turns out that was actually Freddy, yeah, and then, yeah, pretty much saying that just to make them remember him, yeah. And then later on... And we saw the, how the 
main girl in this movie, Lori. Now she lives at 1428 Elm Street with her dad. And yeah, she's with her friends, Kia and Geb. Yeah, and they're just talking. And then later on, and then, like, Gib's boyfriend, Trey, and his, hey, and his friend, Blake, come along too, yeah. And then, and yeah, Lori was talking to Kia that, like, Blake's not her type. Type and whatever, yeah. Then, later on, it shows Gib and Trey having sex, and then later, yeah, and then, yeah, later on, uh, and Gib just decides to go take a shower, and then, as Trey is taking a drink of beer, Jason then appears, and then just stabs him several times with the machete. And then, yeah, he just bends the bed up in half, and yeah, off, and Trey's body gets bent in half, too, yeah. And, yeah, Gib heard what was going on, and then, yeah, some of Trey's blood came through underneath the door, and yeah, Gib stepped in, and then, yeah, and then when she opened the door, she saw the bed and Trey's body folded in half, yeah. And then, yeah, all, yeah, all Lori, Kia, Gib, and Blake all leave the house, and then they, you know, just, and they get a cop, just as he's driving by, yeah, and then the police are suspecting that, that Freddy was the one responsible for Trey's death, and yeah, then, then Lori gets, is over at the police station where she's talking to the, the cop that they found, yeah, the deputy whose name was Stubbs, yeah. And then, yeah, she overhears the name Freddy Krueger, yeah. And then she ends up falling asleep where she is just, like, having a nightmare. She sees a little girl reciting the one, two, Freddy's coming for you nursery rhyme or something, yeah. And then, yeah, she gets, like, scared by Freddy just as she wakes up, yeah. And then later on at Blake's house as he's just like sitting on his own with some space after Trey died. Uh, he starts having a nightmare about Freddy. <laughs> and yeah, Freddy tries to attack him, but yeah, Blake gets unharmed um, because Freddy isn't powerful enough to kill Blake in his dream yet. And yeah, Freddy then said that he'll just let Jason have some fun for a while. And then Blake then woke up with his dad sitting right next to him, sitting right next to him motionless. And then yeah, as Blake was trying to shake him to get his attention, his dad's head fell off, and yeah, then Jason popped from behind Blake and then killed him. Yeah. And then it showed Lori's ex-boyfriend Will and his friend Mark, and their patients at a psychiatric hospital, and they're forced to take, like, like, hypnosil, and we later find, find out that it was just, it was something to suppress their dreams. And yeah. Yeah. And then, yeah. And then Will and Mark later then come up with a plan, and then they end up escaping from the hospital. Hospital, yeah. And then the next day, a Lori finds out from Gibbs that Blake and his dad were murdered, and then, yeah, Blake was the one that was blamed for the murders, yeah. And then, in the school, when Mark and Will return to Springwood, but Mark just abruptly tells Lori about Freddy, and then, yeah. Yeah. And then, yeah, later on, 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 after Lori just, like, passed out. She was taken to, like, the nurse's office, I think, and then, yeah, Keo and Gibbs, Gib were just, like, waiting out, waiting for her, and then, yeah, Kia ended up, like, dreaming about Freddy, like, getting her or something, and then she wakes up. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And then, yeah, eventually, like, Will and Mark get like caught by a cop, but they end up running away, and then yeah, and then and yeah, Mark, Mark, and Will later find out about the plans to 
erase Freddy and even by making everyone forget about him. And yeah, Mark then realizes that he may have just ruined their plan. And then later that night at a rave, they give and then saw Trey and yeah, she was just like trying to follow him and like an abandoned Scylla in a cornfield. You know, and then it would we then found out that she was actually dreaming and she was just laying on the ground and then yeah. Yeah, and then she fell into a trap by Freddy. And yeah, she was trying to hide away from him and yeah, as this guy was like trying to rape her as she was sleeping or something. Freddy eventually found Gib. Yeah, but right before he could kill her, Jason and then killed her in reality. He, he when he just like stabbed her through that guy that was trying to rape her. Yeah. And then Jason then came across like two party goers at the rave and then yeah, he just yeah, he just killed one of them, just by turning their head around completely. And yeah, the other guy tried to set Jason on fire, but yeah, it didn't affect Jason at all. And then yeah, Jason was chasing the guy, and the guy was just... was trying to run away from Jason. And then yeah, Jason eventually threw his machete as it was on fire, through the guy piercing his body. And yeah, the guy then spit out blood and died. And then Jason killed some of the other party goers there. there and then yeah... Yeah, and then Lori, Kia, Will, Hill, and a couple other guys, guys Linderman, who was a one of the classmates that had a crush on Lori, and a, a, the, a stoner Freebird, they all escaped from the rave on Hamya. Yeah, and as, as Will was taking everyone home, well, Will was then telling Lori that the reason that he was put into the, the Western Hills Hospital was because he saw uh, Lori's father be responsible for her mother's death. Uh, yeah. Yes, and then, yeah, Lori's dad then comes up, came up, up and pulled Lori out of the van. And then, yeah, Will was trying to tell Lori not to believe her father and not to go home with him. And yeah, and then, yeah, as her, and then Lori's father was trying, and he like grabbed Will by the throat and told Will that he's not going to let it him endanger Lori anymore. And then Lori just ran off into the house and then she, he wanted proof that her mother died in a car accident, which was what her father told her. And then, yeah, she just knew. She just asked why she was being lied to, and then yeah, she then just locked herself in the room, and then yeah, she then escaped through her window, her bedroom window, yeah, and then yeah. Her and Will then tried to go over to Mark, Mark's house, house because Mark knew everything, and then yeah, we saw Mark, Mark, and yeah, he was trying to stay awake by. Yeah, he tried to take a wake aid pill, but yeah, he was. He then saw Freddy in the mirror, and yeah, he ended up dropping the pill and ended up going down the drain. And then his dead brother then, like, emerged from the bathtub filled with blood, yeah. And then Mark then eventually realized that he actually was sleeping. And then he ended up being attacked by Freddy. Freddy, and then yeah, Freddy then killed him after Freddy threw Mark across the bathroom. And then set him on fire, just as. Will and Lori arrived, and yeah, they were watching through the window as Mark was being set on fire, and then yeah, he eventually was then slashed in the face, and then he died. And then, in the dream, Freddy, like, made a little message on Mark's back, saying that Freddy's back. Yeah. And then at the police station, Deputy Stubbs was suspecting, like, a Tommy Gat Jason murderer, he was trying to tell the sheriff, but the suspicions, he just, yeah, the suspicions just fall on deaf ears, yeah. Then later on, Stubbs up, went to Lori and her friend where they were staying, and then he was telling them on what he thinks. And he was telling them about Jason, and he was saying about how to get Jason, but then, yeah, they were saying that 
it's the real Jason and that Freddy brought him back. And then they said that they're not safe with two killers hunting them, they're not safe whether they're asleep or awake yet. Yeah, and then, yeah, the Will then told everyone that, about the hypnosil that makes them, yeah, make them suppress their dreams. And then they went over there to get some supplies when the security guard, or, like, tried to, like, find them. Um, but then, and Freddy then eventually he possessed Freeberg, and then, yeah, the door, like a big steel door or whatever, fell on the guard, killing him. And then, yeah, with Freddy possessing Freeberg, or he disposed of all the drugs, like the hypnosil, by pouring them down a sink. And then Jason appeared, and he stabbed some of the electrical computer stuff or whatever, and then, yeah, he ended up being electrocuted, and then, yeah, he grabbed stubs and stubbed ended up getting electrocuted too. You and then yeah. He uh he uh, Will and Lori then ran off and then yeah. He and Stubbs was I mean Stubbs, sorry. Sorry, Freebird was still possessed and he was just standing there and as Jason was chasing them, um he tranquilized Jason and then yeah, Jason then before he passed out, he just sliced Freebird's body right in half with the machete, and then Jason then just fainted. Yeah, and then in Jason started dreaming, and yeah, he had the he had an encounter with Freddy, and then yeah, Freddy was obviously yeah, having the advantage with the dream powers, but but yeah, because of Jason's indestructibility. Yeah, whatever, yeah, he couldn't, Freddy couldn't even kill him. And yeah. yeah, and then, yeah, they decided, the team then decided to, like, take Jason back home to Crystal Lake to give him the home field advantage during the fight with Freddy. Freddy, yep. Yeah. And then, yeah, in Jason's dream, Freddy then eventually discovered that water is really Jason's weakness. And then, yeah. He like had water fall on him and it <laughs> like it turned Jason into a child and Jason uh Freddy then in life was starting to stab his head. head. And then Lori eventually entered the dream and it was like kind of showed Jason as a kid when he drowned um in the lake. And yeah. Uh, Lori was trying to save Jason, and then, yeah, Jason then eventually woke up, and then, yeah, the van just, like, like, flipped over, yeah. And then, yeah, Freddy then, and once Jason woke up, and he w disappeared from the dream, Freddy then went after Lori, and then Lori eventually finds out that Freddy was actually responsible for her mother's death. And, yeah. Yep, yep, and then, yeah, she gets woken up after her, her hand gets burnt, and then, yeah, that then make, pulls Freddy into the real world. <laughs> well, yeah, yeah, and then, yeah, as, then Jason eventually, like, shoved Linderman into, like, some kind of rack or something where, yeah, he got, like, wounded. Yeah, and then, yeah. And then Freddy and Jason had another encounter where then, where the cabin eventually was set on fire. Fire, and then, yeah, Jason then just threw Freddy, like, like, way out, out away. And then, yeah, then, yeah, Linderman eventually died, and then, yeah, Freddy then, tried to go after Will and Kia, but, I mean, Will and Kia, uh, Will and Lori, yeah. and then Kia was just trying to taunt Freddy, saying, uh, trying to antagonize him, calling him like a faggot in a Christmas sweater, and that he's not scary, and just he had butter nurse, and then Jason then came from behind, 
and just nailed Kia with the machete, sending her flying into a tree. And then, yeah, Freddy and Jason, and then we're fighting again. Freddy was trying to stab. Freddy then was just like stabbing Jason with his razor claws. Yeah, and Jason tried to get Freddy with the machete, but he kept missing. And yeah, Freddy then just threw a, a bunch of stuff onto Jason, and then yeah. Yeah, and then, yeah. And then, as Jason was getting the upper hand, Freddy then just cut off Jason's fingers, and then yeah, Freddy got a hold of the machete, and then yeah, he was just. Yeah, he was just tearing up Jason. And just slicing him all over the place. Yeah, and then he actually, with his claws, he just stabbed Jason right in the eyes. Yeah. And then, yeah. And then, like, Will and Lori, like, set off a huge explosion. And, yeah, both Freddy and Jason get blown into the lake. Yeah, you can, and then Freddy tr then tries to go after Kia. Uh, Kia, what's wrong with me? Lori and Will again with the machete, but before he can get them, Jason then and impales Freddy with his own ar arm and claws, and then Jason ended up falling back into the lake, and then Freddy just dropped the machete and fell down to his knees. He's and then Lori picked up the machete, and right before she killed Freddy, she yelled, "Welcome to my world, bitch!" and then she. He then just sliced Freddy's head right off, off, and Freddy's body just fell into the lake itself, and then it showed Freddy's head in the lake also then. Yeah, then Lori just saw Jason sinking into the lake also, then she threw, dropped them machete into the lake, and then, yeah, her and Will left Crystal Lake together. And then later on it showed Jason emerging from the lake with Freddy's head. And right before the movie ended, it, it, it showed Freddy's head winking, and yeah, it didn't, and it also heard Freddy's laugh, and yeah, that's how the movie ended. Yeah, so like I said, two and a half stars out of four. Alright, so yeah, alright, so yeah, that does my review of Freddy vs. Jason, and this, Jason, and finishes up my Friday the 13th and Nightmare on Elm Street series reviews. Yeah, so, uh... I hope you guys enjoyed this series of reviews, yeah, and I'm glad that I was able to get through this in time for, um, before October ended, so, yeah, I was worried because of my laptop charger breaking, thinking that I wasn't going to be able to finish it before the end of October, but, yeah, luckily I got the new one in time, and I was, yeah, I was able to finish them just in time, so, yeah. I'm glad I was able to do this, and yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed all of these reviews of the Nightmare on Elm Street and Friday the 13th movies, this, movies, so, yeah, so yeah, thanks for watching, watching the series, and yeah, thanks for watching this review as well, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed, and yeah, so yeah, once again, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys later.